Hey guys, <laughs> so I want to go and show you some of the samples of the off-whites that we were looking at before we settled on the um, Simply White by Benjamin Moore. But you definitely have to be real careful when you're picking these off-white colors because there's so many slight under undertones and subtleties to it that if you're not careful, you might end up picking one with a pink undertone and it'll make your house look like salmon and then it'll, it'll cost you extra money just to go and paint over that again. So definitely you gotta be careful. I've got some samples here. I'll go over with you and tell you what I think of it and maybe give you a little bit of uh, ideas and help you with your uh, painting projects. So let me go ahead and show you here. Wifey and I had a tough time deciding between pure white and simply white. Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't say tough time. It was more my opinion versus her opinion. And of course, her opinion won, won over mine. But um, I, I was thinking more of the pure white, as you can see here. And sorry, I did not have a sample of the Simply White. But I, I went ahead and painted on um, one of the, <laughs> a little piece of cardboard paper here. So I can show you the difference between the pure white and the Simply White. As you can see, they are the Simply White. Um, I want to say it has a little bit more beige undertone to it. The pure white, you can see it's more gray and they're both warm. I would say, uh, but pure white, maybe a tad cooler, but they're both, I'd say on the warm side, the simply white is more warm and they're both going to be reflective and take on the colors that you guys decorate the homes with. So you really have to be careful what you decide on decorations but you i don't think you really can go wrong this in this case wifey was um, absolutely correct with the simply white i can't agree with her more it's um, definitely a game changer for the house and here's some other uh, samples here alabaster is even more got even more beige than the simply white does it's um if, if you're looking for something that's even more warm than the Simply White or the Pure White, then Alabaster would probably be your go-to right there. When we come down to these two colors, the West Highland White and the Pearly White, I almost feel like they have some pink undertones to it. You definitely have to be careful. I'm seeing, I'm wondering if you guys can see it on this camera. I sure hope so, but the Pearly White in certain lightings give off a little pink hue. It's not as bad as some, but uh, I definitely got to be careful there because if you're going to decorate your house with uh, any type of reds, pinks, uh, uh, orange colors like that will really bring out more of the pink hue to it. Uh, same with the West Highland White, but it's less so than the Pearly White. The West Highland White is, I'd say, a cross between that pink hue and a beige hue. But if uh, those are the colors that you like, if you want to give a little bit of a pink, even more warmth to your home, uh, and if you're going to decorate with um, colors besides red, maybe brown, gold, things like that, it might be, it might not be as bad. So again, it just depends on what you're going to decorate your home with. I'm going to back out here so you can see all the colors together. So again, please excuse my ghetto-ness painting on that uh, cardboard paper, the Simply White. <laughs> I could not find a sample of Benjamin Moore's. We don't have a Benjamin Moore store here in, in, in Wichita, so had to had to paint it. But I hope you can really tell, you see, between the alabaster and the simply white, they both are really, have really more warm and have the creamy undertone. And then from here, you can tell that pure white has more gray undertone to it compared to the simply white. And I put the two together like that. So then you can really, really compare it and help you decide. So I really hope this helped. I really hope you guys found the video helpful. I know off-white, is a really hard color to decide on. If I were you, um, I would go to 
Sherwin William or the paint store and buy one of their quart size cans that they'll sell or containers, I should say. But you paint them on different rooms, uh, different walls as well too. So then that way you can get an idea of how it'll look with your furniture and your decorations if you have them. And then maybe that'll help you decide because it's, it's a big expense, big um, investment. So you definitely want to make sure you have the right color so then that way you don't have to go back and like I said, redo it again. It'll just be an unnecessary expense. But if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll try to answer them for you. And be sure to follow our channel and subscribe because I'll do other reviews and things like that. And then also uh, follow us for our build project we have here. I've got a lot going on. Um, cabinets and countertops are gonna be going in next week. So um, be on the lookout for that. I'll post videos on that as uh, we go along.